If you want to explore the deep ocean, you're going to need a submarine. For phase two of my expedition to explore deep ocean coral reefs, I've traveled to Roatan, Honduras, a small island right on the edge of the 1,200 foot deep Cayman Trench. At the end of a long wooden pier in Half Moon Bay sits the submersible Idabel. It was named for the small town in Oklahoma where it was built by the owner and operator of Stanley Submarines. Idabel has room for the pilot, who stands, and two passengers in the forward dome. Welcome inside Idabel. We're currently transiting out to our dive, which is going to be to 2,000 feet. The sub descends slowly, only a few feet per second. And as the light fades, deep, pelagic creatures interrupt vast stretches of darkness. Below the reach of sunlight, we encounter a jeweled squid. Commonly known as a cockeyed squid for its mismatched eyes, one bulging yellow eye looks upward, scanning for prey. The other, smaller and opaque blue, watches below for predators. As Idabel passes through 1,800 feet, we spot a dinner plate jelly. Unlike most jellyfish, which filter feed, this invertebrate is an active hunter. Near 1,500 feet, we approach a siphonophore. This colonial organism is made up of thousands of zooxanthellae and can reach up to 20 feet in length. Each microscopic animal specializes in some part of the life support system and cannot survive without the others. As Idabel nears the bottom at 2,100 feet, we encounter a unique variety of benthic inhabitants. Phase three of the expedition is to share the thrill of exploration through live video conferences as I bring classrooms under the sea.